Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Kshidij here with us who's been recently placed at Amdocs as a part of his campus placements at VIT. And he is here to share his interview experience with us. But before we talk to him, let's go ahead and look at the eligibility criteria. Now, all students belonging to CSC and circuit branches were eligible, provided they had a 6 CGP or a 60% in 10th and 12th, as well as in the pursuing degree along with no standing careers. Now, let's go ahead and talk to Kshitich. So, hi Kshitich, firstly, congratulations on your placement. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, would you like to introduce yourself first? Yeah, yeah. so my name is Kshitish Tripathi and currently I am doing my BTEC. Uh, on CSE Computer Science from VIT Chennai, yeah, and I am placed in M Docs, yeah. Okay, thank you for that. You cannot tell us about the placement process. How many rounds were there, and what they comprised yeah, of? Yeah, so basically, uh, there are three rounds. Uh, first of all, there is a main technical test. Uh, I, I mean, aptitude test and coding round included in that. Then second round is a technical interview and uh, last is HR round. So in the first round. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. The first round basically, first of all, aptitude questions were there, like normal uh, quantitative questions, logical questions, uh, yeah, logical questions and verbal questions, the type of basic, and uh, two DSA questions were there and two SQL questions were there. Okay. Which are pretty, uh, one, one question was somewhat tough and one was really easy. Okay. And same with SQL also. Okay. Yeah. Then after that, in the second round? Second round, uh, technical, uh, technical interview. So I've been asked firstly about like, uh, uh, which language you were comfortable? Hmm. So I said C plus uh, plus. Then the interview started with uh, like uh, the, the concepts, different concepts in hoops. So I was firstly asked about uh, four plus of hoops, like uh, those encapsulation, right. right, and those all. Hmm. And uh, yeah, and also uh, all explain all the four with different examples. Like she mainly stays upon like uh, polymorphism, okay. uh, runtime and compile time polymorphism. Hmm. And also with the virtual function, she said that uh, explain with an uh, different example, like not not sort of a uh, given Google. Hmm. So it's somewhat try to manipulate the same example. Hmm. And uh, then uh, these hopes for questions were asked. And then um, and then database and yeah, database DBMS. I was asked about first of all asset properties hmm. uh, in DBMS. Then um, uh, I was asked about your yeah, DDL, DML, DSL, and that SQL commands basically okay. data, data data control data definition language data manipulation right. language those right. are right. and yeah. And just just sim uh, give the simple query to explain that uh, particular DDL or DML. Hmm. Then uh, uh, yeah, somewhat about transition control also. Hmm. And uh, yeah, yeah, and also regarding my resume, she asked simply that explain any one of a project. So I explain about like I have done in uh, JavaScript based chatbot, hmm. uh, basically that application. So that that I've explained in my that interview. Hmm. And uh, I was asked about. A simple question in JavaScript like uh, explain the difference between double equal to or triple equal to hmm. and uh, also uh, explain the difference between cla class and C++ and uh, in the same struct, difference between class and struct basically keyword and uh, yeah those all and uh, yeah simple JavaScript question like I was asked about I said to uh, which frontier language we are using so I said basically React and uh, in that she asked about like, uh, like what is a uh, Context API, so that is simple. Uh, if you know that, hmm. yeah. So that's all. And finally, HR round. So simply, man, formal API. Uh, simply, she asked about that uh, uh, location preference and those all. Yeah. Right. Okay. So yeah. thank you so much for sharing your experience. Um, do you have any suggestions for people who want to get into Super Dream companies? Yeah, yeah. So okay. basically, what I experience is like uh, simply focus on first, first of all DSA. That right. is really important. Right. And uh, yeah, and also aptitude is really important. Like uh, in the starting of this, like top notch companies, they don't ask about that much aptitude. Hmm. But in the later half, you will see that aptitude questions are really important. And hmm. uh, I think so. Aptitude was somewhat difficult than uh, DSA, what I have experienced basically. Hmm. And uh, yeah, and in the interview, whatever you add in the resume, please stuck to that itself. Don't let extend that. Because I have experience in my first interview. I somewhat wrote extra, like um, I thought that uh, it will give a reflection on that. Uh, right. That's what, so, uh, yeah, so I would say that whatever you are writing a resume, please be, be sure. basically explain with that more comfortably. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so yeah, thank you again for your suggestions and your experience. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and all the best, guys. Uh, just prepare well, well with the DSN aptitude, that's what I say. And uh, in the interview, be confident while we're talking. 
three to fourteen cycles. It is reported. Right. Thank you. So thank you everyone for watching this video. Please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you found this video helpful. That would really help me out to bring in more people and more interview experiences from different companies. So thank you for watching and do keep supporting me. Thank you.